All right, so I'm in my car. This is my rear view. You can kind of see my dad's car um, in the back, but you um, it's really hard to see. So I um, have something to upgrade. This rear view mirror, it has a uh, tan like little loop around it and you can't really see right now, but well, you can kind of see, hold on. You can kind of see, but I am doing a black headliner swap. So I needed to replace this anyway. So I thought I'd upgrade it since I have 5% tint all around except for the windshield. So I'm going to upgrade this. I'll show you guys in the next clip probably. I just wanted to show you what it looks like at night. And uh, I do have a backup camera on this, as you can see. But this obviously isn't on all the time when I am uh, like driving along. So it's still kind of hard to see. Yeah, I can see headlights, but I can't really, um, I can't really see behind me all the time so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna replace this with something pretty cool it's a pretty cool gadget i bought online and um, i'm gonna show you guys in the next clip all right so this is what i got it is a mirror attachment for your car so basically i didn't want a at first i didn't want something that clipped onto my mirror um but i don't really mind it covers the entire mirror with these straps uh should clip on here really easily it's got um a vent for the processor, I assume. It's got a dash camera, it's got a speaker. It has a slot for power, an a, uh, audio video, um, a micro USB, and I think something else, I'm not 100% sure what that is, um, and then GPS. So what this is, is this is a, um, as you can see, it's like a mirror, and then it uh, is also a screen. I can't plug it in right now because I have all the wires. I was kind of messing around with it, but I can show you the interface so this is actually an android 4g mirror um it's actually just like my radio i don't know if i did a video on it or not but it's just like my android radio where i can have apps on it so you can see i have like youtube um video players all that so we can run there's settings like just like android there are I can put my mobile hotspot on it. Um, I can run Bluetooth on it. I don't think I'll be running Bluetooth because I don't think I'm going to be uh, playing music. Like, you can have an FM transmitter, but I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to use my radio. This is mostly just for um, using my recorder, or the, uh, the video recorder. So that's pretty much what it looks like all the time. It's going to look like, that's going to look like the front. That That's like a, a street view camera. I don't know why they'd use that, but that's what it's going to look like from the front. It's going to show it all the time from the rear. I think it has a backup camera feature. Uh, I don't think I'll be using that because I don't need double backup cameras. But it does have an interface like that, which is pretty cool. And it even has navigation. So I can run navigation and watch YouTube on my, uh, uh, what is it called? On <laughs> my radio. But um, I might use this for navigation instead. So uh, I don't know. But it's cool just to have that customization, you know. I that's the main reason I bought it. I mean, it's cool that it's Android powered, but uh, I just wanted something that I could run if anything if I wanted. So we're going to get this installed. I currently have my uh, headliner out for um, it's getting refinished to be completely black. Um, my car never came with a full black interior option. The headliner and everything from the windows up was, um, or from the bottom of the window up was a uh, beige. So um, I'm getting that done right now. So once I get that back, I'm going to be able to put it all back together, but we're going to wire this up first. So that will be in the next clip. All right. So the next part is of this uh, install video. I have the mirror uh, mocked up. The only thing I don't like is when I'm sitting uh, in the driver's seat, it's a little too low and it won't adjust any higher. Uh, but that's fine because I should be, I should just be using the camera the entire time, but I removed the antenna because that's where I'm going to be mounting my um, my camera up top here because this camera is already being used. This is the ba original backup camera and the uh, hood latch release. So I got it out. It was really it was just this nut, and I disconnected the connectors and I pulled it out. So now I have it here. What I did was, I went to Ace, and I needed to get a T9. I had a T10, but um, 
Now I'm able to pop this off, this top part, and I noticed that it's got this weird like circuit board for the antenna. I never actually took one of these apart, so I wanted to get everything that I did on video before I started taking all this off. So I, what I'm gonna try to do basically is attach the camera, cause this broke, um, a branch fell on my car and this broke. I don't even use regular radio, so it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna mount the camera on the back of this somehow, like probably right here. And I'm gonna feed the wire in through here, or at least so I thought. So it's gonna, I'm probably just gonna break this off or something, or I don't even know. And uh, I want to run it through here, like these wires. So I'm gonna take this off and I will be, uh, I'll, the next clip will be me with this off. Hopefully I'm gonna try and figure it out. So there's no turning back now. I'll never have a radio. I mean, I can have a regular radio, but like it, I could put a new antenna on it or something, but it doesn't even matter. So I'm gonna break this uh, motherboard apart a little more, whatever this is called, this circuit board, um, my bad. And um, cause these screws just won't come out. So I'm just gonna rip them off, leave them in there, or rip the circuit board off, leave them in there, I guess, and see how it goes. All right, so this is what it looks like. The base is gutted. I'm sure I will be able to fit my wires through there. And it'll screw on with the stock gasket just fine back right back on there I should probably clean it up a little bit but um so here's the camera I'm gonna go get the shell and we're gonna try and run this up I might uh, install it I kind of kind of gonna I think I'm going to uh, flip these around these little screws so it can mount better so I will show you guys the finished product in a second okay. so I disconnected there's a little uh, quick disconnect for the camera I routed it through the antenna hole I'm probably gonna put a plug and silicone that up after it's done I did have a little bit of an issue getting this part through here but I just tapped it with the end of my pliers it uh, slid through uh, with a little bit it just scuffed it up a little bit nothing too bad maybe bent it a little bit but it's in that little all the wires are in that harness this little like casing so it was good so I'm gonna put it back together mount it up uh, See if I can silicone it. I might have to silicone it again. I really don't want water coming in, especially after I get my headliner back in. Uh, so I'm going to make sure I do a good job. It didn't leak before uh, at all, but um, I want to double check since I'm taking everything apart. And it has, because that's what I was worried about when the tree fell, is that this hole would uh, leak water in it. And I don't think it did, but these screws here um, maybe tell a different story. And all this, this is kind of like, surface corrosion for this like aluminum or whatever this is so i'm gonna try and seal it up pretty well um i'm gonna get this mounted all right so basically got it on there uh all good it's tightened down here tighten down right there right there so let's put it on the car and see hold on how it looks from like afar probably angle the camera a little better I can kind of like move it with that. I don't know if you can even see that shit. Hold on, there we go. From a distance, you can barely tell. I mean, you'd really have to look at it to notice. I'm obviously gonna be taking the stickers off, of course. Uh, but I mean, yeah. I'm gonna silicone that up, probably put, I'm gonna try and use black silicone possibly. But yeah, there's no way. You can even tell. Let's see. Yeah, no, it's it's pretty subtle. I'm just hoping that it can see well. Cause I would I would I don't want to even though like the tree hit here a little bit and I can get a new roof spoiler. I wouldn't want it. I wouldn't want to drill into here. You know what I'm saying? I really wouldn't know where I would put it. I mean, other than a rear wiper delete with uh and put it here but i don't even want to do that either or in the badge i could do it in the i could have done it in the badge but i really hate getting into this hatch i really thought that this was a good idea i hope it i just hope it you know stays pretty good so um next step is i'm probably gonna end up having to extend this power wire 
don't really know where I'm going to tap into it unless I can tap into the antenna. I don't think I can. I think it's a completely different type of cable. Um, yeah, I don't think I can. So I am going to extend this power wire, um, get this going to the mirror up there. Thank goodness. Uh, I still have all my headliner out all right, or else running the, all this would be a nightmare. Um, I'm probably going to zip tie it up uh, and get the power for the mirror in and get the silicone going. All right, guys. So, um, well, I have it powered up. The antenna is drying right now. Um, I think I'm pretty sure I showed you guys when I had it all together. Uh, it's drying uh, with this black silicone. I had to go out and get some black silicone. But um, what I did was, now this looks really sketchy. It looks like a mess, but it really isn't. So these fuse taps allow you to use the original fuse. So like I tapped this one into a 10 amp. So I put a 10 amp and I put another 10 amp behind it to fuse the mirror. So the mirror needs two powers, one uh, all the time power and one uh, key on power. So I hooked it up to the horn, which is in this case, for some reason, uh, a key on thing. Uh, you can't key, you can't uh, blow the horn when the key's off, which I thought was weird in this car, but I have one connected to the horn and then one connected to um, the front door locks, which are on all the time. So now, I also have my radar detector uh, for key on. So now when I go off, when it goes off, it says eight seconds after the system will go to sleep, okay or cancel. Press OK, or I think I pressed cancel, I don't remember. And now, when I turn everything on, I turn the car on. And I just need to hook up another one of these. I have one right here for um, my radio. And I don't know if I want to run this in a visible location. I know I want to run it somewhere that isn't behind the dash because I had uh, location issues when it was behind the dash. Because I do want to be able to run Google Maps or whatever on either this or this. This is an and so this is an Android uh, powered mirror. Basically, when I get that camera uh, put in, I should be able to look at video here. I think this is how I do it, uh, or maybe that's already saved. So I go to Home. Oh yeah, please insert. What does it say? Please insert reverse. So basically, I need um, another camera. I need to do... I, I have a lot of... Uh, please insert TF card. Um, I think that means... Uh, do the... I need to put a uh, SD card in it. All that stuff. I just want to make sure it was running good. So this is... Um, you can have three different uh, things here. So right now, it's the menu. You have your music and your date and time and then you have this i'm gonna get a little more into the customization once i have everything up and running uh it seems like it's re it really wants a uh it really wants an sd card it really wants the gps going and it really wants the camera in it so once that uh dries it's probably going to be tomorrow until it dries um i'm gonna hook that up run all the wires and uh see how it goes but for now this is working and i'm really excited so we have the front um the front dash cam it has, um, I guess, time, kilometers, uh, a bunch of other features. I'm going to play around with it a little bit, and I'm going to show you some more features when I know. Oh, digital video recorder. Okay, so it must be, yeah. Okay, so now it's turning off the camera. Okay, so, oh, yeah, so there's uh, ADAS sensitivity, collision lock sensitivity, and record time. So that's the time uh, if my car gets bumped into, it's going to turn on automatically. And uh, I know that's like a main feature of this. That's another reason I got it. It'll record the front and the rear to see if the, uh, it caught anything. But anyway, I'm gonna play around with it and uh, let you know some more when I uh, know more about this. So I was able to spend a little more time and uh, figure out some of the functions on this. I'm gonna turn on my car real quick and show you. I was able to fuse tap uh, the two fuses that I needed or the two lines that I needed for the mirror. One needed to be constant power, one needed to be uh, key on power. So I fuse tab that and you can 
show, like look up how to use few steps. Here's the cover for it. But when it turns on, uh, right when it turns on, it shows you the back view, and it might you might see that it's a little skewed. But when you go into the double view, you can see it's almost perfect. I can see this truck, um, the whole truck, and that car. When on my sides, I only see a part of the truck and a part of the car. So you you have a really wide field of vision. And um, if you have an SD card, you can actually record like this too. It shows you the date and the time, um, which is pretty cool. And if you click on one of these or the other, or double tap on one of them, you can go to the view, but uh, I like the smaller views because it's almost like it's so zoomed in to fit the mirror that you can't have the full view all the time, which is fine because I like the double view, but I purposely moved the camera up to, um, to try and fix that problem, but you, it's still pretty zoomed in, so I'm probably going to fiddle with the settings a little more, see if I can do anything. Uh, I moved the camera, cocked it up. It doesn't look, it looks bad when you're like up close, but when you're far away, it doesn't look bad at all. So, like I said, I fuse tapped everything. So now everything, my footwell lights, my V1 and my mirror, they all turn on with key on. Um, I kind of like having the V1 on with, with not key on, but that's fine. I can always switch it to another one, but I just did them all like that. Another cool thing is you can have three windows open here. So you can have your apps. So let's say I have maps open. I can have Google Maps. I can have my music and date and time. And then I can have my front or rear camera. And what's cool about this front and rear camera is it shows you your longitude and lat latitude, your kilometers per hour or miles. I can change it. Um, how long you're recording if you have an SD card in. You can also take a screenshot. Hold on, let the camera focus you can take a screenshot or a quick video or mute uh, the audio on it if you don't want people to listen to your conversation uh, if you need if you use it in court like or whatever um, this button right here is actually lane keep assist you see when I turn that off it uh, and turn it on that red line appears that red line searches for your lane so when it's searching for your lane, it sh and then it, it shows your lane in blue, so or green, blue or green, I don't remember. I'll, I'll have a video of it when I drive it, but basically that does lane keep assist. It also measures uh, the cars in front of you and tells you to be aware. It's like a collision warning. And then it also tells you when the car ahead of you is moving if it's at a standstill, which is really cool. So um, I'm going to get a driving clip of that. I'm going to wait until I have a passenger in the car, obviously, because I don't want to be recording and driving. Um, so this mirror is just, it's just so cool. So I'm going to probably in the next clip do a driving video. But like I said, you can do uh, your, you can turn your Wi-Fi on. You can have 4G. I think you can put a SIM card in this maybe. I don't know. Um, but I have a GPS, you have a GPS, uh, locator right here. I'm going to try and tuck it up here when I get my new in, uh, when I get my new headliner and interior, I'm going to see if I can tuck it up. I'm pretty sure I can put it here without an issue, which I'm probably going to do. I liked, I like this here for my radio. Um, when everything's together, it looks really clean, but with all these here, I don't know how clean it's going to look. That's the only thing I'm going to try and tuck these wires the best I can, but, uh, right now everything's just everywhere because i have the headliner out so i really like this mirror it's really cool it's a really cool addition uh, i gotta put my ipad back in here so i'm gonna have a pretty cool setup i'll have this mirror with all the cameras and then i will have um i'll have my gauges here on my ipad and i will have um, my android radio which is really cool too i can have i have all this crazy functionality with it um i can have ways i can have the v1 app scanners Gas Buddy, SoundCloud, Spotify. I can pull up my email on here, everything. So this is a really cool addition to my car. I'm also going to be getting a um, a new steering wheel with buttons in it from the GTI because I don't know. I don't like the steering wheel. It kind of feels like shit. But so all these additions to this car made it really like really different. I really like it. So um, I don't know if there's any anything else I can really talk about. Uh, you can play music on this through your speakers, but you would obviously have to hook up the audio. 
uh, as of right now it just plays on a speaker behind the the mirror itself but obviously I, I have a whole radio with Android functionality I don't really need it it's really mostly for I'm probably gonna only be using this for navigation maybe yeah, like navigation like maps or ways maybe some video storage with uh, my camera and that's it I mean that's really all the only reason I bought it there are other ones on the market you don't necessarily have to have an Android one I kind of just wanted to try this one because I've only seen one other video I think the dude's Russian and he put it in his Mercedes and that is the only video on this mirror that anybody else has uh, it did come from China it it's probably it probably took around a month to get here uh, it was a really long time and it's not a replacement mirror it's like a bolt-on mirror or a strap on mirror which I don't really like from the from the front looking in but I have windshield tint so you can't really see it but there aren't many on the market that are a direct uh, fit to the like the little ball back here I don't know if you can see that a direct fit to that little ball it's really hard to find that but this is a great mirror I'm gonna try and get a driving clip for you guys in the next clip from here all right so I told you um, I would tell you or I'd show you how um, this mirror and it backs up and with my regular backup camera um, I can see everything so I can see everything immediately behind me with my regular backup camera which is in my door handle um, still see the front and the rear at night um, so as you can see my I have it in night vision so this is night vision mode it's kind of uh, I got I think I gotta adjust it because it's a little bright but it's it's actually really good for a uh, the freeway and all that it changes with uh, the light you get uh, it's actually worse on the video than it is in real life it's not as uh, white but um, I have this Hold on, I gotta turn this brightness down I have this going so when I um when I reverse it has the lines that's actually a really good camera um, I don't really use that for backing up but it helps a little bit so with all this, I mean, I really don't even need to use my mirrors. As you can see at night, um, the tint really is dark. It reflects, you know, it reflects a lot. So I have 5% um, on the front, which, uh, and I think 30 on the windshield or something. But um, when I'm driving, it's, it's, really, it's really a lot of help. Let me turn this off because I'm not using it. It's really a lot of help at night. Um, I got night vision on the front and the rear, which is awesome. Um, let me get out on the main road right now. My lights on the video look really crappy, but in, in person they're a lot better. I think the camera's just not doing it justice. Um, so coming up. Front camera looks a lot better than the rear for some reason. As you can see, it kind of adjusts. You saw it adjust there. And then we're going to go out to the uh, road where there's no there's no lighting on this road. Oh shit, there's a cop up there. I better put my phone down. Oh shit, is he chilling on the road? Where is he? I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna put my phone down. Uh, Cause now I'm driving on the main road, but it's a pretty good look. There is a few street lights I just realized, but it's a really good uh, camera. I'm really happy with it. I'm glad I installed it. Um, hopefully, the, uh, in another video, I'm going to do my Starlight Headliner when it's back from uh, Sean Paul Customs. Or Sean Paul Interiors, my bad. And um, I'm going to get this all buttoned up, and it's going to look really good. So uh, that's the mirror video. I think this is probably the last clip I'll use in it. So thank you for watching this video.